What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to share with you some different ways of marketing and getting your message across. So, you know, I've done a ton of videos on, on uh, Google ads, on Facebook ads, on Bing ads. Uh, I, I've shown you how to create a YouTube ad. Those are all great. Those are all awesome. And that's how kind of you get the ball rolling. But there's also other ways how you can get your message across, such as solo ads um, and such as going to popular blogs and talking to the authors and asking them if you could share with them, if you could give them your landing page site or your link so that they could then distribute it, right? So obviously you would pay them something for it, but this is an alternative way to get your message across to the right people. So what you would do is you would just use Google to start off with, right? So suppose you're promoting some online marketing product, okay? Specifically maybe, you know, social media marketing. So what you would type in is maybe social media marketing top blogs. Type some, some something like that. Uh, take a look at the blogs, take a look at the list, go through all of them, see which ones have the most engagement. So this one, for example, this post itself um, has, you know, 4,200 shares, 1,700 Facebook likes. This is pretty cool. This is pretty strong. A small tight-knit community of people that are interested in whatever this is, right? So looking in media blogs to add to your daily reading. So these people are interested in social media blogs for some reason, right? So this uh, site, for example, provides content several times a week using screenshots to show readers how to use social media, right? And then here it shows for Instagram ad features that you need to know about. Eight successful uh, Instagram takeover for successful. Okay, so as you can see here, something about ads, okay? So these people must be interested in something to do with ads. So maybe this would be the perfect place for you the perfect spot for you to contact the owner of the site and say, hey, I have a site about, you know, social media marketing where I have a post. Could you share this with either your subscriber list or could you put this on your site? How much would it cost for me to kind of publish this post with my link in it onto your site? So what you would do is you would try to contact them now, right? So take a look, see the engagement, you know, scroll down, see if there's any con um, any good comments. Uh, see if there's any, uh, yeah, so so as you can see here, there's a ton of different comments. Um, see if there's ads on, on here already. So over here, I don't see many ads. Oh, there, right? I think there's something. Now, this may be done by the actual user of, um, or I mean, by the actual owner of the site, or it may not be. It may be done by someone else, right? But point is, there's some spot here. So you could say, hey, I'd like to add a banner ad here. How much would it cost you, right? So you don't always have to rely on sites like Google or YouTube or sites like Buy Sell Ads, which we discussed before was a scam site uh, based on my experience. Uh, you can just do this manually yourself. You can approach these people and talk to them. So, you know, if you want to contact these guys, let's see if there is a spot where you can contact them. Basically, you would just look for it, right? So this is Social Media Examiner. Okay, so I've actually heard about this one before. So take a look at this. Let's see, maybe go to about. Uh, if you don't find a spot to contact them, what you could do is you could just subscribe here um, and then just follow the email address and they'll probably give you some information. They'll say, hey, contact us if you have any questions. And you could probably contact them that way, right? And say, right, depending on whatever it is you're doing, if you're a blogger, you could say, hey, how much would it cost for me? Or, hey, I'll pay you 20 bucks per week you know, to keep my blog on your site with all my attached affiliate links because this would be perfect for your for your category. It would be perfect for your kind of audience that are looking at this, right? I have something that matches what your audience is looking for. So this will benefit them as well because they're delivering content that the audience is seeking as well, right? And assuming they approve, they have to obviously look at it and then see, but they're getting compensated for it and you're getting some awesome, uh, really detailed traffic, right? So it's kind of like a solo ad. Alternatively, you can ask them to email, say, hey, how much would it cost for me to, to email like 10,000 of your subscribers or whatever, right? Or if I give you my link, how much would it cost for me to, um, for you to, to get this information out across to them, right? And then maybe you would ask them some questions. You would say, how many subscribers do they have? Uh, do you have, how active are they? Stuff like that. You'd want to know a bit more um, and just, just do it like that, right? Yeah, so over here, I don't really see a contact us spot. I don't know, we're in contacts. Uh, been wearing contacts for a while today, so maybe a bit, uh, a bit blind um, here, right for us, right? So there's an option to write for us. So, so maybe this will be a perfect opportunity to, to 
kind of put your post there. Um, but basically, yeah, that, that's what you would do, right? So you would go go back and look through other sites and just what I would do is I would keep a list, I would keep an Excel list and uh, have, you know, all the information there. So all the sites and whether I contacted them, them, them or not and what they said and kind of what the engagement is on those sites so I can go back to them, right, with those URLs. So that's just one of them. Like, let, let's go back. Um, you know, here's some ideas. So you would just go through them. So socially sorted, take a look at that, see if that matches the market that you're looking for, right? So let's see, socially sorted. So I'll show you how to get more reach referrals and results for your business with visual social media and cost strategy. Okay, so, so, so perfect. So this person is teaching them. If you have something, again, like we said, that teaches social media marketing, you maybe can put something here, right? There's a blog here. See if you can put a post on a blog or see if you can reach out to the subscribers of this person. Um, sometimes it's better than solo ads, right? Because solo ads, you don't know where that person's coming from. You don't know where their leads are. They're scattered across what markets. Over here, you have a specific niche, a specific target base from this, like this market. Like people that read this stuff, they must be interested in this. Why would they go to this blog? Why would they know about this blog if they weren't interested at all in this, right? Um, so that's what you would do. You know, contact them. Um, here, let's see if you can contact. So if you wish to inquire about speaking, sometimes they tell you, like they give you a separate email for business, I've noticed. Sometimes they say, hey, if you have like business inquiries, contact me at this email or stuff like that. Or sometimes they may say, if you have a business inquiry, don't even contact me at all. I don't want to buy anything. I don't want to sell anything, stuff like that, right? So just, just keep in mind, read this carefully. Um, let's see if this one says anything. Please do not send. Okay, so here this is saying, do not send SEO. All emails about SEO are deleted to guest post. Okay, so over here, unsolicited request to guest post, request to share articles or infographics. So uh, this, this site is not welcoming your posts, most likely not going to welcome your attempts to send links. So maybe this one, don't like, just ignore it. Maybe put it on your Excel list, but don't, you know, don't send the emails th that way. Um, so just go back, you know, and, and, and try something else. Write a bunch, write a list on your uh, Excel sheet and, and, and just contact them, right? Um, like the, there's no set rule like, hey, your traffic must come from Google, Facebook, or Bing, right? You hear a, a bunch of people, um, you know, saying that how they made so much money on Google, how they made so much money on Facebook, but those are not the only ways for you to make money right? These are some kind of good short-term gains for you that, that you can, you know, post for a bit, make some money and, and go do something else, right? Especially if you know that your product is selling, you know, take advantage of this. Um, this, this would be a really concentrated market with people, like I said, that are really interested in this topic, right? Like, like you've hit the perfect audience, right? Um, now here's, here's the other thing you could also do. If you go to YouTube's, Right. Pick a, um, so let's pick something. So let's say online marketing, right? So let's go with, um, let's say, uh, online marketing, online marketing lessons, something like that. Pick a channel. So for example, here, project life mastery. I, I did, um, look up a lot of these guys videos at the beginning. There's Ty Lopez. So, um, we could see if, if uh, we could put an ad on, on, on his ad. I'm going to show you how. Okay, so that's nasty. So what you would do, so for example, Project Life Mastery is pretty big. Uh, I don't know if they would be, or he, him or his team would be willing to really do anything. And then here's his blog post as well, so you could check that out. But what you would do is you would go here. Let me see into more. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, here. So go, go there, right? So um, hey, this is take a... Hey guys, I'm Carly. Uh, what I would do is I would copy the URL of that video, right? I would go into his channel, go into about, and for business inquiries, view email address. You can view the email address, press I'm not a robot, unless of course, again, you are a robot, then just don't click that. And it's stuck. Submit. All right, so there you go. Uh, there's the email for business inquiry. So go ahead and send him an email. Hey, it doesn't hurt. Send him an email. Say, hey, I have this really great website, a really great offer, a great like landing page that your audience will find helpful. Could you please put this in this video, right? And then send them this video and say, you know, I'll pay you, I'll pay you, uh, you know, 50 bucks a week or so, or whatever it is you think is fair, or or just just you know leave the price out and say, hey, would you be willing to 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 negotiate a price, you know? I like I'm willing to pay you 40 bucks um, 
40 bucks a week uh, for you to, to put this link, which will really benefit your audience at the bottom of this video. And that's something they could do, right? <laughs> because these YouTubers, they make a ton of money, not only from the videos, but also from the affiliate links they have, right? So look at this. This person has, you know, 285,000 subscribers. So you can imagine how many, right? And, and 14 million views. Out of those views, a ton of people will actually go through and scroll through the list and go through the links that these people recommend, right? So that's basically another way for you to, to get some traffic, get some leads. And if you put it up at, like on a very popular video, that's not a short-term way to make money. That's a long-term because that video will always be up, right? It's it's like it's as though it's your own video, basically, which stays there forever, right? Unless um this the the owner of the channel says no we don't want to um we don't want to keep um keep this link up there right or whatever happens but that's basically it so there's basically a ton of different ways you could do i mean like go to your local store that's selling like whatever products you're selling and 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 and, and see if you can enter into some kind of partnership with them say hey i have a website which could also help you like is there is there anything we could do like to work together to get clients or something like that possibilities are endless what i'm trying to say is there's not only google ads and facebook ads there's many other ways you can kind of grow your business and attract clients and this way over here like via youtube and, and google and blog posts is um really a, is a really concentrated way right because you get people from those specific target markets it's really exact really specific so you know you'll get people that you want right you will get high quality traffic it's like the Facebook interest is like targeting those, you know, that laser targeting. Um, this is like another way of laser targeting because you're not going through Facebook. You're actually going directly like, like to the people that are on that page basically, right? So I hope this kind of opened up your eyes a bit that, hey, there's not only these ways to make money. There's like unlimited ways of, of doing this. Um, I, I, I have tried all these ways. I was successful in some parts. I was not successful in other parts, um, but it does work. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. On this channel, we cover a ton of different online marketing tools, how-tos, tips, strategies, reviews, all that stuff. Um, and thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.